Hey guys, this is Reza Malieri, professional wedding and portrait photographer, cinematographer, and educator based in Seattle. Today, we're excited to be here at the Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle at the Rose Garden, and we're getting ready to showcase the incredible autofocus and tracking performance of the Sony Alpha A1. Uh, we're gonna do some really cool demonstrations inside the zoo. We're gonna show you uh, how it can capture 30 frames per second uh, with AE and AF. So that's full auto exposure and auto focus tracking performance with the backside illuminated stacked CMOS sensor of the A1. It's incredibly fast using the electronic shutter uh, and it can do tracking of humans, animals and birds, eye tracking and focus tracking. So we're gonna demonstrate all of that for you. We're gonna show you how to set up your camera so you can uh, get those high frame rates, uh, what kind of memory cards you should consider using. After we do that demonstration at the zoo, we're gonna head on over to a track where we're gonna do some fitness types of shots with uh, some cool stuff that we have, a football we're gonna be throwing around, doing some fast movement to see how well the A1's autofocus and tracking performance can keep up with our subjects. So follow along as we head into the zoo, uh, get set up, and show you some examples of the amazing autofocus and tracking performance of the Sony A1. All right guys, so we're here at the Woodland Park Zoo and our very first stop is going to be at the butterfly exhibit. Butterflies are super cool because they're moving around erratically and they're the perfect subject for us to try to freeze with our 30 frame per second auto exposure and autofocus tracking on the A1. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up with the Ninja V so you can see some of the EVF of what we see when we're tracking these butterflies. So our camera's set to high plus. We're on AFC continuous. And the other things you wanna do to make sure you're able to capture these frame rates is to have your uh, emphasis in your focusing mode set to release instead of balance. That way it'll max out the frame rate versus trying to worry about focus so much. So. The uh, AF mode, you wanna set that to release, set to AFC, high plus. And then the other thing you wanna to need to do is put your raw setting to compressed raw. Uh, the 30 frame per second on the A1 works with compressed raw, JPEG, or HEIF. Uh, so make sure your file settings are set to that. And the final piece is gonna be that you set your shutter speed to 250th a second or higher. Make sure you're in electronic shutter, and you're at 1 250th or higher. So those things, if you have those all set correctly, you'll be able to achieve 30 frames per second on the A1. So we're gonna head on into the butterfly exhibit, take some photos, show you the EVF, and show what the A1's AE and AF tracking can do. Let's check it out. All right guys, so now we're here at the tropical rainforest. And we're about to go inside and show you one of the premier features of the A1, which is the bird eye autofocus tracking. So we're about to head inside. We've got the Ninja V. We're gonna show you what the EVF sees and how we're gonna shoot 30 frames per second while we track birds. So come with us as we take you inside the tropical rainforest. All right guys, we hope you enjoyed what you saw here at the Woodland Park Zoo. We've got some really awesome shots of some butterflies. We've got the jaguar, we've got gorillas. We've got all kinds of cool birds. 
and now we're going to head on over to the track where we're going to do some sports action so follow along as we take you to the track and show you what's up next All right guys, we are now here at the track. We're back with the A1 and we're about to do our fitness shoot. And I'm super excited to show you guys what the A1 can do in this high plus burst mode. So we're gonna be shooting in high plus burst, tracking our athlete. He's gonna be doing some sprints. He's gonna be doing some uh, catching of the football. We're gonna get some cool shots of him in action and show you what the A1 is capable of. So high frame rate burst with the stat CMOS sensor of the A1 with full AE and autofocus tracking on the eye in photo and video. So you're gonna see some amazing sample photos. You're gonna see some bursts of photos and then you're gonna see some 4K 120p slow motion video. So stay tuned for that as we get started here on the track. All right guys, so for this shot, we're gonna demonstrate the amazing slow motion video capabilities of the A1. The A1 can do 4K at 120 FPS with full autofocus and auto exposure tracking. Uh, with our athlete subject, it's gonna be able to track the eye, track the body as he progresses through his motions. But for a really ultra slow motion, the SNQ mode also offers 1080p at 240 FPS. So we're gonna show you an example of that as well. Um, so yeah, basically this is what we're going to do for this next shot is we're going to shoot some slow motion video with the uh, A1's hybrid capabilities. It's an amazing stills camera, but it's really an incredible video camera when it comes to autofocus and tracking as well. So check this out. All right, guys, now we're on the track. We're getting ready to shoot these photos at 30 frames per second. Everything is set up. Our camera's set to compressed raw. We're in high plus AFC and the focus on AFC priority is set to release. Those are some important ingredients in addition to your shutter being at 1 250th per second or higher on electronic shutter. So make sure you've got all of those things dialed in and check this out. We're gonna show you how the A1 is able to freeze 30 to 150 plus images per burst. So if you're using the SD card slot with a V90 card, uh, you can get roughly 130 to 150 shots depending on the speed of your card before your buffer fills up. And then it takes anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute to clear that buffer to then go again. Now, if you're using uh, CF type A cards, you can get about the same amount of shots, but your buffer clears in like 10 seconds. So with the A1, you also have those options to either use SD or CF type A, a really versatile feature that goes hand in hand with these amazing uh, burst and high frame rate capabilities of the A1. So. Check this out, we're gonna show you some incredible stills, high frame rate burst with the A1. Action. All right guys, as a hybrid shooter, one of my favorite things about the A1 is its ability to shoot in slow motion, either in s &Q mode where it gets it uh, already finalized for you or in the 4K 120 mode. So right now we're shooting in s and q and we're gonna go ahead and shoot in 4K 120 and see what that looks like. And then in a minute, we're gonna go over to the track and I'm gonna show you the 1080 240 ultra slow motion that the s and q mode has as well. So let's go ahead and toss this ball, Nick, and let's see what we got. I'm gonna get a little bit tighter on the spot there. All right, and action. Nice. All right, guys, now we're over here at the track and we're gonna do SNQ at 1080p, 240 ultra slow motion. Uh, SNQ mode is just as good as any other mode. It's really high quality, high bit rate video. So we're gonna give you a demonstration right now of what that looks like right here on the A1. Here we go. All right, Nee, you ready? All right. On your mark, get set, go.
All right, guys, so that was the demonstration of the autofocus and tracking capabilities of the Sony Alpha 1. We took you through Woodland Park Zoo. We did this amazing fitness shoot here at the track, and hopefully you saw how powerful it is. It's able to take up to 150 shots, fully focused with auto exposure and autofocus tracking on the eye for humans, for birds, for animals. And uh, yeah, so the A1 is really a camera that can service any creator for any type of shoot video photo it can do it all it's one of the best cameras out there my favorite camera my a1 camera i use it for everything absolutely love it so you guys definitely go and check it out it's the alpha one can't beat it thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video